हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द सी एस आर नेट दिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सोल्यूशन टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फ्रॉम द पार्ट बी एंड द पार्ट सी कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल वेर यू कैन फाइंड द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ द सी एस आर यू जी सी नेट एंड यू कैन सी द वेरियस पी वाई क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द सी एस आर नेट ऑल आर एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्वेट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द पी वाई क्वेश्चन ऑफ द पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ द लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर यू कैन वॉच माई दिस लेक्चर एंड लर्न मैनी मैनी शॉर्टकट ट्विट्स इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई यूट्यूब वीडियोज यू कैन सिंपली स्कैन एंड ज्वाइन माई वर्सअप ग्रुप फॉर द वेरियस डिस्कशन पार्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द इजिएस्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस सी एस आर नेट डिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वट इज द कंडीशन फॉर द इलिप्टिकल वी ऑल नॉस बी स्केयर माइनस फोर ए सी मस्ट बी लेस देन जीरो देन वी कॉल एज इलिप्टिक वेन इट्स सेट विद द पैराबोलिक वेन दिस नंबर शुड बी जीरो एंड वेन दिस नंबर इज अ ग्रेटर देन जीरो वी कॉल एज हाइपरबोलिक नाउ इफ यू लुक अबाउट दिस दिस इज माई ए दिस इज माई बी एंड द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ द वाई वाई डैश इज माई सी सो वट इज अ बी स्केयर माइनस फोर ए सी सो इट इज अ फोर एक्स स्केयर वाई स्केयर बी स्केयर माइनस फोर एक्स स्केयर एंड माइनस थ्री वाई स्केयर सो इट इज फोर सिक्सटीन एक्स स्केयर वाई स्केयर ना लुक एट द ऑप्शन वेन एवर वाई इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो कैन इट बी लेस देन जीरो नो वेन एवर बोथ आर माई ग्रेटर देन जीरो स्ट्रिक्टली ग्रेटर देन जीरो कैन इट बी जीरो नो वेन एक्स वाई विच इज अ नॉन जीरो देन Is it always greater than zero? Yes, it is always greater than zero. When x y is non-zero, then it is a parabolic. That means is equal to zero. No. So the right answer is C is my correct answer. Look at this another one, which is the wave equation. So we all know the wave equation is u t t is c square u x x. So what is the value of the c? If you compare them, c will be my two. Now you can see. This is the wave equation. So, if you remember my lecture on the wave equation, this one, p y equation of the Laplace equation, p y equation on the wave equation. I already explained how you can solve that. If I take an about this is my f x. First of all, this is not the sine cosine or not the exponential form. I call this is my g x. So, my solution will always be computed at x plus c t, x minus c t. So what is that? Five comma t. So my solution will be computed as five plus two t, five minus two t. So my solution will be f of five plus two t, five minus two t divided by two plus one over two c integration of this g x. Now first I can find this value. What is the value of this as t approaches infinity? So this is minus one over something square, e raised to power minus one over square. Fine. When you take t as zero infinity, this value becomes my one because e raised to power zero one. So one plus one over two. I look at here. It is one over four. It is x e raised to power minus x square into dx. Fine. If I multiply by two and divide it by two, limits are my five minus c t. Five minus two t five plus. So what is the integration of this? It's a e raised to power x square five minus and five plus two t one over eight. Now what will happen if you take limit t approaches infinity? So that means this number will be zero when you substitute here because it's a negative. So this number is zero when you substitute here it is also zero. So the right answer is one plus zero. One is the right answer of the problem. Look at this another one. This is the Cauchy-Euler pro Cauchy problem. Solution is defined as here. X is my all those real line. Y is only my, my positive values. For which of the following problem? For which of the following value of k above solution has a solution? That means your target is to find the solution of the u, and it must be defined on G, uh, R is a complete. so we are only bothering about the y uh, again a very simple is i can start from the cauchy e equation so dx over u it is dy over 1 and du over 1 so if i take the first and the last equation so i can simply say u square over 2 i can take the lcm this is my c1 and from the these two i can say u minus y is my c2 so therefore i can return this Is my 
phi times u minus y fine now i can substitute the initial condition so it will be u square minus 2x which is phi of kx then if i simply take kx is my t so then this number will be my t square it is my 2t over k which is phi of t fine now i can substitute this value at here so this is my u square minus 2x which is u minus y whole square minus 2 over k u minus y now your target is to find the value of u so if i open this bracket one u square will be cancel out so it is minus of ux which is y square minus 2uy minus 2uk plus 2y over k so then i can found the value of the this it is y plus 1 over k and it is my 2x plus y square plus 2y over k so my solution will be 2x plus y square plus 2y divided by k over 2 times y plus 1 over k fine now look at the option what is this option suggested you so let's start with the start from the k is equal to 1 when k is equal to 1 okay another thing is it has a solution that means it must be existence when it will be existence when this denominator part is my non-zero over this domain fine so when k is equal to 1 the denominator will be y plus 1 can it be 0 over this domain it can never be 0 because it is 0 only at minus 1 but this number does not belong to the 0 comma infinity so this means k is equal to 1 solution existence k is equal to 4 denominator part will be y plus 1 over 4 again you can see this is my non-zero because it will be 0 only at 1 by minus 1 by 4 which is not belongs to this one when k is equal to minus of 2 so that means y will be here can it be 0 yes it is 0 at 1 by 2 and it belongs to my 0 comma infinity that means solution does not exist as. when k is equal to 0 so when k is equal to 0 it's a 0 by 0 form so what you can do is i can simply take the lcm then it will be my 2x plus y square of k plus of 2y divided by 2 times y k plus 1 so when y is equal when k is equal to 0 this number will be 0 this number will be 0 answer will be u is equal to y and you can see the domain of the y is my 0 to infinity and it is same as here so that means yes solution exists so the right answers are a c d are my correct answers of this problem look at this another one it is also one of the interesting question here b is the open disk del b is my boundary here lambda is my any number which is 0 to infinity s of lambda is a set of all those continuous differentiable functions in the b such that they are continuous and satisfied by this condition that means p square plus lambda q square is 1 fine so we all know this is the function of the p and q is 0 so then you can simply write that is my ax plus by plus c where a and b are satisfying this condition but i will tell you there is no need to solve this one fine there is no need to solve like this one. i will tell you the simplest way also if you are thinking about can you apply the charpid method again there is no need of them why because this condition is a very important because you can see whatever the solution of this problem it must satisfy this condition fine because from this equation we are trying to target is find the value of u and u is one more condition is given to you so what kind of the u you have this is on the del b that is my here that means solution will be satisfying my this problem so that means the whenever this condition hold solution will be zero so i consider this is my solution fine 
now my target is to find the value of k so can you find the value i can substitute this value u at here so it is my 2kx then this value will be my 2k y so if i substitute here it will be 4k square x square plus lambda times 4k square y square which is equal to 1 can you find the value of k it is 1 over 2 root of x square plus lambda times y square so my solution will be 1 over 2 times x square plus lambda times y square into x square plus y square minus 1 is it okay now we got this solution fine now what is the remaining thing now look at the option they are talking about what is the value of the s1 s2 and here what is my s1 lambda is equal to 1 so when i take for s1 when lambda is equal to 1 what is my solution is x square plus y square i can make it separate is a 2 times x square plus y square minus 1 over 2 times x square plus y square or i can simply say this is x square plus y square over 2 and it is my 1 over 2 fine now look at that what is my s1 is set of the continuously set of the twice differentiable function yes it's a twice differentiable function is it a continuous the one more condition is it must be continuous is it continuous you can check about that limit x approach is 0 y approach is 0 fine now we there is no need to find the limit you can see this number will be 0 but this number will be infinity fine or you can say it's a minus infinity so that means limit is my not finite so once the limit is not finite what does it means is it a continuous it is not continuous so it means when lambda is equal to 1 this solution does not exist does not satisfy the problem so what is the meaning of that s1 is phi because the set of all those function and this function does not exist so s1 is phi this option is cancel exactly one element both are infinite this option is also cancelled now the second part is we will see where, uh, what is the value of the s2 what is the meaning of the s2 lambda is equal to 2 when i take lambda is 2 so u will be x square plus y square divided by 2 x square plus twice of this and it will be twice of this number fine now again you can take the limit as x approaches 0 y approaches 0 firstly look about this what is the degree of the numerator which is 2 what is the degree of the denominator 1 and degree of the numerator is greater than g, uh, denominator then we all know the limit will always goes to the 0 fine that i already told you in my previous lectures whenever the degree of the numerator is greater than of the degree of denominator it always goes to the 0 but look at that again this limit will be my infinity so that means this number will be 0 this number is infinity it means it is not a finite number once it is not a finite number what is this what does it means it is not continuous so it means s2 is also there does not exist any u which satisfy both properties it means s2 will also be my phi so that means this is also my phi is the right so you can see that a very simple there is no need to apply them i just look about this condition del u by del x is my zero is my right so this is the way you can solve this simple question of the pd in a very simple manner i hope you can like and subscribe my youtube channel as well we will see the next lecture on the part c questions related to the part, uh, related to the real analysis till then you can like share and comment on my video best of luck students happy learning